Hello, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to give your device in your home a internal IP address without disabling DHCP. So you can do this on any um, ISP that you have, uh, BT, Cable, Virgin Media, uh, Sky, whichever one you have. You just need to be able to log into your router. Now I'm on Virgin Media, so um, all you have to do is pick up your router and look on the bottom and look for its IP address. This is not your internet IP address, this is your internal IP address that your router gives um, an ID to. So you want to log into your router. Um, if you're on Virgin Media, Virgin Media, I have got a video on showing you how to log into your Virgin Router Hub. But um, it's all basically all the information is underneath your router. So you should be able to log in. Um, your password to log in for Virgin here is your settings password. And on other routers, it'll just say password. Um, so I've saved mine, so we're good to go. We can log straight in. <coughs> Now, you are looking for, um, it's probably in advanced settings or settings somewhere on your router. You're looking for DHCP, and you want to click that, and then it should load up. And um, on Virgin Media Router 3.0 and 4.0, that gives you a list of devices already connected. Now, luckily for me, I, I know which is which, and I've um, named them. Um, so basically, um, I have an app that connects to the CCTV cameras but when I'm in the house I connect to my Wi-Fi so I can connect through Wi-Fi through the network directly to the CCTV box or DVR and um, that means it just bypasses the whole internet so um, basically the CCTV camera needs to have a kind of a static IP address but um, the rest of the network IP addresses, they don't have to be static, they can just be random. So as you can see, I've set it to 192.168.0.10. Your internal IP address on different ISPs will probably be different, but it'll still be 192.168, and maybe this zero will be a one, who knows. But the one on the end is definitely your router, if you want to connect straight to the router. So um, what you do is, you go and add a reserved IP address here. You tick the one you want. So I'm going to tick. Um, we'll, we'll tick Alexa. Um, she's at 184, so I'll be able to remember that. So we'll tick it, and then it'll add it here. Make sure the information's right, and then we click Add Rule, and then it'll just do its job. And then there you go. And then down here. You'll have a reserved IP address for Alexa. As you can see, the one above is for my CCTV cameras. So that's all good. So I can just type that in the app on my phone and connect sh directly to it without going around the internet. And that'll be the same for um, your ring doorbell or any other... Well, I think the ring doorbell is automatic. But that'll be the same for any other um, IP cams you've got in the house that you need and you don't need the address changing. Now normally it's all automatic for the software because you can just add them and stuff like that. But there's certain things that you need to do this for. Now I don't need Alexa on a random IP address um, or any computers, that's uh, not the very good. So we'll get rid of that right there. So I hope this video has helped you out on adding a um, Reserved IP address. Um, there is also settings here so you can set a least time so all your um, internal IP addresses change and you can add as many as you want. Now, if the router is number one, just the one on its own, then there's no need for your starting local address to start at 10. It can start at 2, up to 2, 4, 5, and you can change it like that, or you can change it to start at 20 just in case you think somebody's scanning your network from 1 to 10. Um, the least time you can change, um, I will change that later on, so it changes like every 3 or 4 days. Um, but that's how you give um, an IP address, a reserved IP address to a device on your network without disabling um, DHCP. But um, I will make another video on how to disable DHCP and manually add an IP address to all your devices. Which is probably not safe because you probably need to randomize them and sometimes you need them like that 
So let me know in the comments if you've got any problems, um, if you've got a better way or a way to help. See you later. Bye bye.